Hello for everyone, welcome back to another mukbang with me and um, my husband here, Elvis. He's decided to join me again for another mukbang. So, are you going to say hello? Yolanda, um, uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, we appreciate you visiting us mm -hmm. whenever you can. Um, I hope it's more often. So, um, yeah, she's going to explain what she had prepared for us today. So. <laughs> I'm just looking at his food that he prepared. Oh, okay. What I prepared, actually I've done this yesterday. <clears throat> this is my letter from yesterday. So when I got back from work, she said, oh, we're going to do one. So I didn't prepare anything fresh, but still it's good. Um, this is a, <clears throat> This is um, a hocket, a pork, between the, the trotter and the, the four quarter, the roast. So this is the, yeah, this part of the pork. And then the leftover chicken. My son had a go at it. And I think my daughter too. So this was left of it. So yeah, I'm happy with this. This will do me. And then, uh, but I bought uh, some, uh, some corn and then the purple thing you're seeing it's um, kumara that's a sweet potato and and the uh, corn so uh, yeah so this is what i i'm gonna have today oh yeah and uh and a ruko too ruo i bought one from the this is um um like half eaten chicken and his um Sort of that we were talking about. What is it? Um, hog. Okay. Yeah, okay. And on my side, I have um, ribs. These are the pork ribs. And I've got potato that I, <laughs> that I added from my boil up mukbang yesterday. And I just want to show you guys this lovely pumpkin fa'usi. Look. Fa'usi. <laughs> I just got some on my phone. It looks delicious, doesn't it, guys? Bye. Have a, another look. Mmm. Yep. My uh, cousin's wife made that. And it's pumpkin. And it's, um, I've tasted it before. I, no, just one block. And it's tender. Tender. This far also, guys, it's made with love. Because you can see it. Look, why? <laughs> yeah. And, um... It's very nice because it's um it's soft, which I like. Not like my one. My one's hard, but <laughs> hey, it's not fair. But her one's nice as it's pumpkin. So it's good how she made it. Me, if I was to make it, I would boil mine, but she she knows how to do her one. It's really nice how she does it. And later on in the weeks to come, hopefully that she'll um, start selling these. So one day when you're in the mood for pumpkin fa'usi, my cousin's gonna hook you up with some. But anyway, for the time being, we're gonna do our prayer and then we're gonna eat. Oh yeah, I just wanna finish off by what I was saying. This is the pork ribs and the potato. I heated it up real good. And I added the potatoes for my mukbang, um, seafood mukbang, because I, I love boiled potatoes. But we're going to do a prayer now, guys, and then we'll get back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, here we go. First time, pumpkin fowls. I've eaten the taro ones. They're nice. But the, this is the first time for a pumpkin. Cheers, guys. It's water for our drinks today. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice and soft. It is nice. Yeah, no, I can't wait to eat it. But, if, you know, first fingers first, we got to have a. Um, yeah, this is a, nice. There's my pork rib. Nice bite size, sister. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, it's got a nice chewy chewy texture to it, eh? Mm. Which I like. 
It's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Mm hmm. Here, guys, have a bite. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> not that. Nikki. I like having it with the pork and the chicken. So. Mm. Tender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Potato. So this is a full pocket. I remember when we first came from um, New Zealand and um, we were living out in Bankstown. Um, they used to sell these pockets for $2 each. Hey, mm -hmm. We used to get it just to cook it, hey? I got this one more for cheaper. Same price, two dollars a kilo. You go to the to the butchers, expensive. It's like twelve dollars a kilo. So I got I got it from my local Woolworths. I plumped it. Yeah. It's okay. Not every um Woolies have a butcher, but we're fortunate enough to have a butcher here in the Plumpton Marketplace. Yeah. Cheap. Yeah, the meats are cheap there, guys. They're called Kumara. Sweet there. Nice. Yeah, I told the people that um, you've been looking for the purple um, kumara and you just found it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Nice potato. I mean, kumara. This is lovely. I hope everybody's okay and you got something nice to eat too. Yeah, because we got nice food here. Yeah. Praise the good Lord. This rib is so tasty. Oh, this one tasty too. <laughs> no, it is. Okay, mm. I'll give you a sample, Daddy. No. Taste. Taste. Mm. See? <laughs> yeah, but this nice too. Mm. Especially with the roll. Pork and the roll, nice. I made a little sauce for this. It can taste bomb. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the house is quite silent because we only have one child here, and here he is. Nah, my son, he's home, and my mom. My mom's watching TV. Yeah, 
And everybody else going to visit Julius. Yeah, they're going to visit my grandson. <laughs> Our grandson. <laughs> Yeah, Tangaro had work today. Mm -hmm. Always good to get the overtime. Because when you see your pay, it bam. Nah. Mm. Are you still eating the poultry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. See? Because my cousin's wife made this, and, um, She's got a pretty good hair, and good. he likes it obviously, my mum did too, because I served him um, for my mum. And I could hear her going, Mama, yes, he falls. I thought, I thought, how cool. <clears throat> so I'm glad my mum liked it too. So when my cousin starts selling them, guys, please, you'll have to support. That's if you live nearby there. Mm -hmm. It's a bigger... Uh, bigger share. <coughs> Where were these nice food? Where there's an hour drive, hour and a half drive. <coughs> so drive, just to get their food. Us, on the other hand, we don't drive nowhere. <laughs> we stay local. We don't go far. But the good thing about uh, Desiree and Sharon, you know, those girls, they love to share their food. So when they're out there and Sharon knows it's something that I like, she always gives me a call or Desiree says, ring mom, ask if she wants some. So they both like that, you know. They're both like good to their parents, so it helps when my daughter has a, a partner that's like her. Yeah, my husband likes that well from over the bridge at Old Mount Drip, that he keeps going back to getting it. <laughs> Why not, eh? See, Sharon, that's right, they, they go far away, and us, we just go to Mount Drip. <laughs> and we just go locally. Just dipping the, the pork into the sauce. Mm. Very nice, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. So sorry to those people that don't eat pork. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Because it's just boiled in water, it's good for his dip dip. He's not making that that he normally does. <laughs> oh, mm. When when he um when he starts eating this and I'm on the table. I'll quickly remove myself. <laughs> I'll quickly finish my food and remove myself. But I know all that slurping noise is going to come out. But he's been a good boy trying to hide his um, slurping. <laughs> Just like any noodle. It's not a noodle if you don't slurp. So, same with this. Well, why are you not slurping? <laughs> I'm ripped. I didn't tell you not to slip. <laughs> what is the noise I'm making? <laughs> mm. Good to see you like that. Not nice. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it's nice. No, this. You can have a couple of Milo with it. Or salad tea. Mm -hmm. He even boiled some corn. With with the hook. Boiling in there. Like a boiler. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that love spoil up. Hey. It, it's a kiwi favorite. Spoil ups. Mm -hmm. Oh, Johnny, not like this. Mm. It's nice. You cut it off. See? I'm falling in check. Mm -hmm. You're not just a pretty face, are you? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. I like this pork. And also, um, I like to say hi to to all my families out there that's watching, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not much of a camera person. Cola. Camera person. I don't like, you know, sitting in front of the camera. I told so, them that you didn't bring your sister and got angry. <laughs> so, you know, um, my cousins from, from Bontonby, my Auntie Ali's kids, Hi out there, thanks for watching. And we commenting. Are, yeah, and we appreciate the support. I mean, she, she appreciates the support because this is a channel. Mm -hmm. I got no channel. But, I'm not getting invited. Come and eat. What? You take off. Anyway, I hope that you, you're all well. Um, everything is okay. We are okay. We are mm. right. So is my my siblings. I just ran my brother George in New Zealand. When? Uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> Why would you do it? Because uh, there was a there was a cyclone that happened in Auckland. It's not far from where he lives. Um, Not two me, weeks ago, just months. He told me that everything is okay and not to worry. And so, yeah. Yeah, this brother of his, um, my brother George, whenever there's something here in Australia that's happening, like, um, you know, like a hurricane. <laughs> Bushfire. Yeah, he always, always calls. He's a really good brother. He's like, he's always concerned about um, family member or friends. He's just that kind of a person. Yeah. And I appreciate that. We both appreciate that. And that's why my daughter, Sharon, not to... Um, <laughs> uh, listen, if, if Sharon's cousins are watching, don't get offended. So Sharon said, Uncle George is, his, is her favourite uncle. <laughs> But she just hasn't been time with a lot of all her uncles because they're all good. They're all good brothers. I don't know about this one. <laughs> nah. Tell us the oldest of his brothers. Yeah, when there's a flood here in, in Sydney, oh, you ring, you ring, say, oh, are you? Affected by the, the flood and all that. This is why now, mm. you know, peace of mind for him too, to know that everybody in the family is good. Mm -hmm. Bushfire is the same. So when that cyclone hit, when I called in, in Auckland, yeah, I rang him. But everything was okay. 
So, yeah. I can't wait to see them. Because mm. um, my other brother, Wes, he just bought a boat. Oh, well, another boat. He had a boat before. But he bought another one. Yeah, they love fishing. Yeah. So I can't wait to go back and so we can go out. Mm -hmm. That's our outing. You know, people go, they are they going out. I know some people assume it's a nightclub or shopping. Too old for that now, darling. <laughs> but us, when we say we go out, is we go fishing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's our outing. We do all sorts, you know, with, on the boat. Sometimes we go uh, floundering. And sometimes uh, with the nets, catch a mullet, go away. Yeah, his, his two nephews, um, Tennessee and um, Joshua, they go out um, floundering and they catch quite a lot. And they only catch enough for their quota. He had, um, Tangaroa had gone over to to visit them the other time and they went out and got some flounders for their uncle. Yeah. yeah. So good. So they all brought it over fresh. <laughs> because I was with them, Tennessee said to me, Uncle, you want some flounders? And I thought <laughs> it's in the fridge. <laughs> and I said, Oh, yeah. If you can spare some, I'll take some. He said, No, 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 no. We're going out. Oh, we're going out? And he said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the problem is we're a bit short on on petrol. <laughs> it didn't take me long. It did, I just go in the pocket, get fifty dollars for the petrol, and he say, "Okay, um, two hours start we going." Just like that. Charles in Tennessee got in uh, my brother to his uh, uh, four wheel. And uh, I was in uh, George's for you. And, and Tennessee took his daughter too. Because the more people you take, the quota goes on that. Just in case they, you know. So there was three, four. Oh, and Sharon. I think Sharon was there too. Yeah, I think Sharon was there at that time. So we went. They, they, they took the net out. They, they dragged back. They done three drags and we got all oh, 50, 50 flounders. 50 flounders in, in three drags. You know, you pull them in. So, and they, they were going to go out again. And I said, wait, no, no, that's, that's enough. Mm. And they said, are you sure? Well, we can go out again. <laughs> he said, no, 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 that's enough. This is over 50 flounders, you know, that's for me to bring. For me and Sharon to bring. I think Sharon was there at the time. Yeah, so, yeah. So that trip, it just gave me flowers. Yeah, so I bought it home. I know we clean it on the beach. And then he said, I'll freeze it. Because it's got a freezer at home. And then when you're ready, just come and pick it up or pack it in. Yeah, so two days later, I was leaving the car. And, um, we ran and then he went and packed it one chili bit full plus mussels and other fishes. Oh man, it was it was a good trip. Every time I go to New Zealand, I never come back empty handed. Always at least two chili bits. Or at least one. One one chili bit mussels. When but, his mum was alive, he used to come back with two chili bits. Mm. Remember the other chili bin was what? Hmm? The other chili bin was full of what? Muscles. No. When his mum was alive, um, a sister from the Jehovah's Witness, oh. um, done um, a whole chili bin of beautiful donuts. And those donuts, trust yeah. me guys, five days later, they were still soft. Yeah. Hey. Because here, at that time, this is a long time ago when mum, my mum was still, still alive. Um, there's not many people in, in Sydney that cooks uh, cook island donuts. Mm -hmm. So when I go back, I come back with the chili bean, chili bean of donuts. Yeah. Mm. 
Anyway, this rose is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's good. Thank you, Cass. You got a good head. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Take it from me because I know everything about pouch. Because I eat pouch. No, you can't eat that. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you're trying to be funny, guys. Not even. <laughs> no, no. Mm, it's nice. It's nice. It's soft. Even sour and had a taste of <laughs> I haven't had a taste because she picked one up and she eats it. And we go, oh, yeah, these are soft. Mm. Mm. Yep. No, I like it. No, it's nice. I'm still laughing about how I make mine. <laughs> it's nice, but it's not as nice as this one. This one's nice and soft. Yep. Can I have a Milo cup of tea? Are you offering? Yeah. Mm. You got a bottle there. <laughs> no, I remember you said, yeah, it's on camera. No, no. Yeah, so our nephew, um, our nephew's um, Tennessee and Joshua, they are their father's son. You know, their dad used to take them when they were little titty babies to, um, to go floundering. Yeah. So these boys grew up with um, seeing their dad fishing and their uncles, and they're good at it too. So it's good. And this one, how wait? You know, I want him to go and hang out with his brothers too. Like his brother Wes ran up this other time. And said, hey, Ta, because that's what they call it for short, short for Tangaro. Hey, Ta, there's a fish here with your name on it. <laughs> like, I don't know, like enticing him to want to come over. But that time was when um, the border started um, closing up, eh, darling? That was sad. But it wasn't an easy for him to go because we had um, made plans to go to the Cook Island. So he either takes a sicky. Um, to go there and go to Cook Island. But I had said to him that we could have booked our flights to go to New Zealand for about four days or something and then finish it off in Cook Island, in Rarotonga. And I really want to go back to Aitutaki. That's that's one thing I want to go and do. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it when, when I was there. And I've never been in a seawater that's warm like in Aitutaki. Really, really warm. That's why I joked to him, I said, are you sure this is not connected to Rotorua? Because <laughs> I heard Rotorua's got really warm water. Clear too. Oh, really you nice. Know, you, you might be on about 20 feet, 20 feet deep. You can still, still see the, you know, the starfish, the corals. Yeah, it's clear water. Oh. You have two coins? <laughs> no. I was just about to grab that last coin, but oh, I, I thought, no. nah, you went for the trouble of boiling. <laughs> Why didn't you boil it all? It's nice and soft. I don't normally get the full yellow ones because it takes ages to boil, but the ones that's um, like yellow and light yellow, now nah, those. They're super sweet and they cook faster. That's what I noticed anyway. But today you didn't boil it that long, eh? No. Mm, it's nice and soft. So, mm, that might be, you know, doing better for their corn. <clears throat> so, in the near future, God willing, my cousin's planning to make and sell her um, faosi, and I'm sure you guys will want to try it out. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because it's delicious. Nice. Also, pumpkin cheaper than taro. Yeah. Taro, taro now, what, $9 a kilo? I don't know. Yeah. Some are even $10 a kilo. Mm-mm. Not far, we'll see. Mm-mm-mm. Two thumbs up. Mm. 
I just can't wait to have a cup of tea <laughs> with that. I always make sour tea when I have something sweet. Because you can't have sweet tea then sweet something. Mm. Oh, yesterday, oh man, we were so happy. My daughter brought over, um, well, see what they do, they have a mukbang and stuff like that. And because people are so generous, the small business, they're so generous and, you know, like giving them um, food to try out for them and um, on their videos. So they have like some left, so they'll save them a bit and then Sarah will drive over with Deirdre sometimes. But sometimes Deirdre doesn't come because, you know, she's tired. And then Sarah will drive over to bring us the, you know, some of the leftovers. And yesterday, oh, we had so many yummy desserts. Like, it was so nice. And my daughter, Mata, she's um, a dessert person. So once I text her, come and get some dessert, she was in here before I even turned off my phone to put it down. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, just about Sharon. Appreciate it. And then um, my daughter goes, that's the good thing about them mukbangs, eh? We get to try their food. <laughs> oh, well. Lucky us. Yeah. So just before we came to do this mukbang, um, we were texting back and forth. And then she goes, okay then, mum, got to go and do our film. <laughs> Filming? But well, I didn't tell her we were doing our mukbang. <laughs> Oh, anyway, guys, um, yeah, we're so happy that um, Desiree and Sharon has reached 4,000 subscribers on their um, on their channel, four months now, and they've reached 4,000. So good on you guys for um, going over, subscribing and watching and even bringing family over to support them as well. Thank you so, 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 so much. I knew they could do it. This is why I pushed and I pushed and I insisted and insisted. Because, I don't know, see, that's why Sharon, what you see, like, they're really, really kind people, you know. That's why I'm so proud of them. They're really kind people, you know, like, if they want to help, they'll help, you know. And that's what they do. And it's so good. I'm so happy and I'm really, really proud of them too, that they've reached 4,000. Oh, that's so nice. And not only that, you know, like people are reaching out to them to, you know, taste our food, taste our food. And so my daughter, because, you know, one will do one thing and then um, Sharon, well, well, one will do one thing, the, one, the other one will do the other thing. But Sharon, she always wants to do extra, extra, extra. And then she stresses herself out and it's not Desiree's fault, it's her fault. <laughs> just, just letting you know Desiree. Uh, yeah. Anyway, but what I mean is like, um, yeah, so when people reach out, you know, Sharon forms that, even Desiree, they form that relationship with the people that um, have their small businesses. And that's what I like, you know, because why, why is this another reason why I insisted that um, my daughter get into this? Because the first thing is, I heard that Desiree wanted to have a YouTube channel, okay? So my daughter told me this ages ago, and she said, Mom, why don't you have Desiree on your channel, you know? And I think to myself, well, um, yeah. Anyway, long story short. <laughs> so Sharon was saying that um, Desiree wanted to do a channel. This is way in the beginning. And I said, do a channel? Do you two do a channel? And she goes, no, I'm not doing a channel. Oh, heck no, I'm not doing a channel. Why is because my daughter, she's very, very shy, you know? You would never think that now because, you know, like being on, on videoing and recording and everything for four months, it's really brought her out of her shell. And that's another thing of why I really wanted her to be in it is because I've got really, really shy kids, you know. Well, a couple of my boys, they're not. But most of the time, I'm a Tilora. Uh, <clears throat> I don't even want to go there with that one. And um, the first video of Desiree and Sharon Eats, 
you can see Sharon, she's barely talking, barely, barely, barely talking. So, but now she she can communicate, you know, which is really, really good. And, um, and I'm being honest with you guys, you know, what you see with my daughter and how she approaches you or how she associates with you, that's how she is. She just like really considerate, you know, considerate of people and stuff like that. And um, that's what I like about Desiree a lot too, because that's what I noticed when Sarah first introduced us to, to Desiree. Yeah, so I saw the kindness of uh, Desiree, you know, you can tell, you know, you can pick up people and the way they are. And Desiree, she came out as a nice person. And to this day, she hasn't changed, still Desiree. You know, she she, <laughs> she clans around sometimes, but hey, that's what I like about her. So Noah, Noah, um, he loves um, seeing Desiree giggling. He'll come out, out of his room just to say, oh, Desiree is so cute when she's laughing, you know? So it just makes me laugh because my kids really, they love Desiree. You know, my kids, they really, really love Desiree. They, you know, they can mingle with her and she's really good to them and they really care for her. So it's good when you get, you know, like in-laws, you know, that's, that comes in and they mingle with, you know. So it's good that I see all my kids and all my kids' partners, you know, they get along and stuff. That's a real good thing, isn't it? I am. Uh, because I like it like that. Because, you know, you got to be good with your partner's family. You know, I reckon. you got to be good. Because if you love your partner, you love their family. Because they come hand in hand. Hand in hand, I mean. Hand in hand. <laughs> Out of fold. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this right. food is so delicious. This pork ribs is on point. I am. Uh, so it was bored and it was, um, you know, like a bit dry. So I thought I'm going to bang up a sauce and just not a, a thick sauce, just a watery kind of sauce. And then I I did that and I roasted that and it came out real, real nice. I call her the magician. Didn't I? No. <clears throat> no, no, he did. He said, you're a magician. Yeah. <laughs> because if, 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 if something is not up to, to a certain level, so make sure it's... Yeah. So if I'm a magician, wait. Ping, ping, ping. I might turn into a rabbit. <laughs> then she had to kiss me. Ew. <laughs> nah. Uh. Anyway. Oh um, well, I just, I just turned red when he said that. <laughs> you know why she turned red? I got no idea. <laughs> oh God, I get near the asthma buffer. Oh man, that food was delicious. Yeah. Praise the good Lord for this lovely food. And thank you to my cousin that made the fausi. Nice. That's the highlight for me. It's uh, the fausi. Uh, yeah. The pork, the pork and uh, the Mickey and uh, Lou Owen uh, thing is nice too. But yeah, I could tell he liked it because even even when I was talking, he was poking at it, trying to get some. And I'm telling him it's off nice. camera, "What are you doing?" He goes, "Oh, I'm just getting me some fausi." <laughs> yeah. You're getting it with a cup of tea, honest. It, yeah. Is that good? Just, yeah, it's really nice. Just that and a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, well, it was lovely food, lovely company. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> keep, keep the food coming. Oh, this guy, right? I told you guys before. We could plan a mukbang, and if he suddenly wants to change his mind, he'll go, oh, I'm not in the mood. He's asleep. No black second came. Yeah, it was good. Kill the Aussies. Feel sorry for the Aussies. They were hanging there for a while and then all of a sudden the All Blacks took it. Yeah, loved All Blacks. Took off. I, did I tell you guys who, who my favourite All Black person was? Yes. Tanga Umanga. Woohoo! Oh, he's great, man. And now he's um, um, 
coaching, isn't he? Retired and coaching. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I just want to talk a little bit more about Tana Oma. <laughs> no, it's a wrap. I just, well, I just, that's one person that I would love. I've got, uh, I've got two, uh, and my Tyson. My Tyson, Tana Umanga, Ma'a Tonu, and Serena Williams. They are my favorite uh, rugby players and tennis players and boxer. Sportswoman. Yeah. yeah. Sportswoman as well. So they're pretty good. I'm trying to remember one of them. Oh, yeah. There's another one too. Polly's too. But I can't remember the name. She He's likes. a soccer. He's a soccer player. Uh, skinny little guy. <laughs> skinny little boy. His, his soccer is boom, boom, boom. You know? It's really good. Yeah, I don't know his name though. <laughs> I love watching him too. Yeah. She like, she like Elvis too. Yeah, I love Elvis Presley. Not that. <coughs> nah. I had to call him Elvis. Okay, okay my let's brother. Go, let's, go. <laughs> let's wrap this up, eh? My brother, Siaki. <laughs> my brother, Siaki. His other name's Jack. Well, same name. <laughs> yeah, my brother, Jack, he loves Elvis. My dad, he loved Elvis. And this one over here. It's funny one time, ages ago, in, in our house in um, Otara. Uh, so, anyway, this Elvis um, song came on. It was a movie. Remember back in the days when... When movies will come on Sunday, it was Elvis. Oh. Anyway, so Elvis started singing. Tanana was next to me, and my dad was sitting on the other side, and Elvis started singing. Both their foot was going like this. <laughs> I see his foot. <laughs> I look over my dad. <laughs> if my brother was there, Jack, his foot would be both. Not one foot, <laughs> but... <laughs> I think they don't even know no sense of humor this guy. Anyway, okay. Uh, let's let's say goodbye. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yes, thank you. Just <clears throat> <laughs> laughing about what I just said. Okay. Yeah, thank you for hanging out with us. Truly appreciate that you guys take the time to come and watch. Um, me being professional and this one being all goofy and all that. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time. You know, I hope you guys are all well with your families, and I hope you guys stay safe out there because with this COVID thing happening, we just don't want to be around that kind of thing. You know, so always put faith in, in God because He's the one that will protect us. You know, protect us and keep us safe. But thank you very much. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, thank you, thank you for hanging out with, with, with her and um, Annie. And I uh, hope to see you next time. I uh, hope uh, she's been entertaining. Yeah, um, I try to be entertaining on my TikTok, mm -hmm. and I know you guys must see it and think, oh my gosh, Faye. <laughs> so until, until next time, I'll keep it from me. Yeah. Bye, guys. All take care. Too fast, too far. Thank you.